بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay now probably in this section we'll try to understand the role of the api in sdn world of networking like in the previous sections we have already discussed about the apis and the types of apis and how how they are going to allow to talk between the different applications with some examples now with respect to sdn there are two primary uses of the api in in our sdn networks now the first thing is the applications probably the applications need to communicate with the controller that is where the api will be used and also we need to make sure that the controller should be able to instruct the networking devices so again there is an api used so technically we call the apis on the top is not bound api i'll talk about more uh, detail probably in a separate video probably here the not bound apis the application to controller communication and the controller need to talk to the networking devices as well so what exactly they they communicate now let's say there is an application requirement or maybe the application refers to some kind of you know some kind of management software which you are running or maybe some kind of management software running in a gui which is going to uh, instruct or tell the controller what is the requirement or what is the bandwidth availability this kind of requirements will be shared by the controller now this application wants to talk to the controller like here the application is typically talking to the controller saying that i want the information about the network let's say so how exactly the topology looks i want the information about the network how many devices are connected and what are the different types of devices how they are connected probably that kind of information or maybe the application wants some kind of configurations need to be pushed to the end devices okay so now this application need to talk to the controller and say that okay i want the controller probably i want you to push these configurations on a specific device maybe you are adding a new device here and this new device will be added with this specific configurations Uh, automatically okay so in this scenario you need an api again so api is required so that the application can can talk to the controller about what exactly it wants now once now after that the second one is the controller should be able to talk to the networking devices should be able to communicate with the networking devices again there is another apis and the type of apis are used So technically we call them as southbound apis now these apis are are just like you know uh, simple examples we can say like what will be the cpu cpu of individual devices so i want to get the statistics of the cpu utilization of individual devices or maybe some kind of interface status what is the status of the interfaces or what configurations you are going to apply or maybe you you want to push some kind of you want to apply some kind of security policy and you want to tell to the devices that okay hello devices this is what your our new uh, policy is and you need to restrict this specific traffic and this is what you need to apply the acl uh, probably the security policy you need to apply for that particular selected traffic or one more example we can say okay this is so if any traffic is going from this pc to this pc or this vlan to this vlan probably you should be using this path this is the path you are supposed to use because that or maybe this is something the bandwidth what i want so based on that again you can have some kind of dynamic quality of service policies so so the main job of the api here is a uh, simple the api the application which is used for management maybe the configuration management should talk to the controller there is an api required and the controller need to talk to the networking devices there is an api required over there so we here also the same thing happening the two different applications are going to interact with each other with the help of apis here 
now the next thing we'll see now in order to communicate one thing you need to remember the dependency or at the back end you must have some kind of ip network build and you must have some kind of reachability because technically the application may not be running on the local controller maybe may not be now this application need to interact with the controller and that is only possible when you have an ip network or when you have a network build and you do have a reachability between them and the controller can only talk to the networking devices when you have a reachability between them and the most common method used for that is http request so most of these apis works over http request we'll talk about more uh, later on like uh, rest apis we'll be discussing in our next section in detail what are the different types of requests they use in the back end and one more thing is like the communication process between between the client and server or we can say the communication process between the application and your controller so there will be communication process this communication process is more like the server client model so server client is just like you you go to the browser and then you type in some kind of url some xyz.com and then it is going to connect to the server and then return back you the web page now this is more like a client the the device or the browser which is requesting will be referred as a client requesting for the website and the one who is offering you the particular website probably that is considered as a server so you can compare this similar to the similar to this one uh, almost similar to this one like here also the device which is going to request like in this example the application is going to send out a request or share its re share its requirement what exactly uh, you, you need to do with the controller so in this scenario this will be like the client which is going to send out its request like i want the information about the network or I want this configuration should be sent to the network or it can be like show me the topology information uh, how exactly the topology looks something like that now this is going to be your server likewise when the controller is talking to the networking devices now this is going to be the client and the networking devices will be like the server again this is the second one so maybe the controller is asking hello hello networking devices i want you to display your cpu information i want you to display your interface status if there are changes you need to please update me or i want you to apply this security policy or maybe i want you to apply this quality of service policy so the communication process between between the two between the two here like like in this in the case of sdn it will be a little bit different so the application to the controller and the controller to the networking devices will be completely based on http request so at the back end they use uh, http request and of course it will be more like a client server model more similar to your the way you get the web pages here 